So it's actually mental health day and I thought that might be a good day to talk to you guys a little bit about PTSD and you know all the things that go along with that. So it's been raining. We're gonna walk outside for a minute and see if I can talk to you guys out here for a minute. So my experience with PTSD was brought on because of an abusive situation that I was in for years. It was a marriage and things just snowballed. I don't mind going into details. It's just a very lengthy, like it would take me hours to tell you guys everything. So I don't necessarily want to do that today. I just want to highlight the fact that you can get PTSD from abuse and from just living like for me personally, it felt like I was living in a war zone for years. You don't have to have, you know, served in the military or been in combat or, you know, had anything like that happen to you or been participating in anything like that for you to get PTSD. I think most people on my channel probably already know that, but just in case you don't, um, you can get PTSD from a lot of things. You can get it from, like I said, abuse. You can get it from car accidents. If you just witness something really, really bad and scary happening, you can get PTSD from that too. So there's a lot of different ways. Um, mine is from trauma, like physical trauma, mental trauma, things that happened to me. So mine's from things that actually happened to me um, over the course of many, many years. Um, at the beginning of the abuse stuff, it really was just like one random thing. And then it became like a few random things. And the next thing you know, it's four of the days of the week would be an abusive thing happening and like i said i don't mind going into detail about all that it's just i need to like actually sit down and and kind of like break it down into parts i guess today's not going to be that day but the stuff that happened um it gradually got worse definitely took a toll on me mentally and by the time that i actually got out of that situation um there had been a few times where guns have been drawn, um, I've been held against my will. But whenever you're threatened like that, um, basically, yeah, things happen, it sucked, and I'm safe now. Like I said, I just wanted to kind of come on here and, and talk about that a little bit. If you're not familiar with PTSD, you can get it from a lot of different things. Um, and there's also uh, complex PTSD. CPTSD, which is complex post-traumatic stress, that actually is from multiple events happening to you. But there's also like, I've always heard it that, oh, well, all my little kids can get that because it's like, I don't know, I don't know why. But I feel like mine is CPTSD. I've only been diagnosed with PTSD, not CPTSD, but the C is for complex. So that is stuff that happens more than once, like constant, like a reoccurring event or reoccurring trauma. So mine, I do feel like is that. That's not what I'm diagnosed with though. So anyways, for me personally, what happens is because of that, I will have panic attacks and anxiety attacks. And I'll also have um, where it's kind of like flashbacks where I kind of feel like I'm in a situation where I need to get to safety and I can't. It makes me shut down basically. That is why I have therapy because therapy brings me back to the here and now. Obviously she's helpful for a lot of things, but that is one thing that she can do because whenever I do that, I dissociate. So that means there's a few different ways you can dissociate. But for me, what it is, is I'm basically not here. I have a hat of a dog. But there's different ways. You can do like an out of body dissociation. You can do like a out of mind dissociation. There's, um, I don't know what it's called, but it's basically where you depersonalize things so like you're not you anymore. So there's a lot of different ways you can dissociate. So Farabee's with me and I start to dissociate. Um, she's pretty good now about being able to tell like, hey, <laughs> something's weird here. And a lot of times just by having Farabee with me and like touching her, petting her, getting my focus back on her, it really helps me to kind of get back in the here and now and at least be able to get to a safe place. There's a lot of other symptoms too. I mean, I'm not trying to downplay it. This is just the things that are most relevant to my situation. So like I said, just the panic attacks, the anxiety attacks, um, the dissociation, and like the other things I've put up videos on, like the weird things that happen with PTSD. Like yesterday I had a panic attack. It literally drained me for the rest of the day. Then the wonderful thing that happened <laughs> is I fell asleep at like seven o'clock. I never go to sleep that early. This morning we didn't get up till it was after 10 a.m. 
um, and we went to bed, you know, we slept a lot. And I'm sure it's different for different people, but for me, whenever I have a panic attack, what happens is I get exhausted and I will just sleep. Um, it basically shuts my eyes, so I'll, um, I can't make it long after that. Like I can, I can kind of make it a few hours, but then once I do get to sleep, like I'm done. Like I said, I just wanted to tell you guys like kind of a brief story on how I got PTSD. I would like to do a more in-depth conversation about that because I think domestic violence is something that's super important to talk about. And I also think the way that it starts, like a lot of people, they don't realize what it is. In a, in a domestic partnership, a lot of times you don't recognize it abuse for what it is at the time. Like a lot of times you just feel like maybe they're having a bad day. You question yourself, you know, you're like, is this abuse? I don't know, this doesn't feel right, but I don't know if this is really abusive. And so I really want to talk more about that. I would like to do a series on that. I don't know when I will, um, but I would like to do that because like I said, I think it's really important. Here, you brought me a tennis ball. So I can also tell you whenever um, I started opening up to people about it, the amount of people who either said, oh my God, that happened to my sister. Oh my God, I had a friend who actually died from that. Um, I had people who told me you know, their story, that they had been through it too. And the amount of people who suffer from domestic violence and who go through stuff like that, once you start talking to people, you probably know so many people you didn't know had been through something like that or either have had a close friend or family member have gone through something really bad and it's crazy and I just feel like until I started until I started doing research on it and trying to figure out like is this actually abuse and stuff um, I wasn't aware of how many people there were and I also wasn't aware of the things that just that like starts abuse and like what it actually is and it snowballs that's all I'm gonna say that's kind of a brief description of how I got PTSD I'm gonna do a whole story on this, hopefully. Um, like I said, I just have to have the, basically the spoons to get through the story because once it starts, it, it takes me down to talk about it a lot of times, but I think it's really important to share. So I'm gonna go play with ball with my dog and edit this and hopefully have it up today. Um, I wanted to put it up for Mental Health Day and like I said yesterday, my day kind of went to crap because I had a panic attack and then I wasn't, Basically, I just didn't feel like filming anything. So hopefully I'll get this up today. this uh, obviously give it a thumbs up I'll link some videos around here I have a mental health playlist I'll link some service dog stuff here and I'll link a subscribe button somewhere as well bye guys <laughs>